Podoc Season 3, Episode 2 on PBS. Everyone is on a mission. Recap and review. Opinion. With Ross, Aidan Turner, away on his dangerous mission, Cornwall plays, and the results are some major plot developments. The second episode of Poldark Season 3 on PBS skipped a few months into the future to reveal fraught conditions for all. It is time to recap Episode 2. A detailed version of events kicks things off. However, if you are interested in a brief recap, scroll further down. Warning. The following article contains spoilers for Poldark Season 3, Episode 2. Ross' efforts to find Dwight, Luke Norris, are met with great peril. As he and Trolley, Sean Gilda, arrive in France, they are faced with the terrifying forces of the revolution. Ross finds a man willing to give him a list of prisoners for a prize. Ross pays it as a tavern waitress pays close attention to Ross and Trolley's activities. She is eventually revealed to be an informant for the revolutionaries. Ross and Philly are taken into custody. Ross' attempt to bribe an official does not go over well and he and Trolley are put on a ship out of France. Never one to give up, Ross literally jumps ship and returns to get his list. When he is discovered, he fights off several soldiers and makes his escape. Demosa and her brothers A forlorn Demosa, Eleanor Tomlinson, watches and waits for Ross' return. In the meantime, her brothers have been exiled from worshipping in the church George recently helped renovate, so she starts helping them find an alternative place to worship. Demosa suggests an old meeting house the late Francis Boldock had gifted to the people. When Zaki, Tristan Starock and Demosa's brothers go to Elizabeth Hyde Reed to get the all clear, she is ready to give them her blessing. That is until George makes her aware that the other man with Zaki is Demos' brother. Claiming it is a plot by Ross to worm his way back into the affairs of Trenwith, George sets Elizabeth's temper ablaze. She then agrees they should not give permission to use the land. Still fuming, George suggests they leave and take up residence in their town home in Truro. She agrees to leave Trenwith and her son Geoffrey Charles behind so that she, George, and baby Valentine can escape Ross Reach. With Demos's plan officially shot down, she forges ahead with another one. She tells Sam, Tom York, and Drake they can use the old storehouse at Nambra. When Ross returns home, he questions Demos's choice to do so and she makes it clear to him that she is the head of the household when he is away and makes no apologies for her decisions. Ross listens and agrees and the two share a closed moment. Caroline awaits word on Dwight. At the episode's midway point, Caroline, Gabriella Wilde, tries to get information on Dwight by reaching out to George. Miss Penvenon's charms are completely lost on the goal-oriented Warlegan, who coldly tells her he has not seen Dwight's name on any list of prisoners. Ross later visits Caroline and shares his latest update on Dwight. Relieved that her husband is still alive, she collapses in emotion. A moved Ross appears to consider returning to France for Dwight. Towards the end of the episode, an imprisoned White begins working to save a wounded soldier who asks him if he is hell. George rules and it's scary. George, Jack Farling, renders another verdict as a magistrate, which means justice is not done. In exchange for a favor from an aristocrat, George finds the man's guilty nephew innocent of assaulting a servant girl. He then demands the distraught girl be tried for perjury. The horrified young woman is then taken to prison as a bewildered Elizabeth watches in the courtroom. Disturbed by her husband's ruling and other stresses, Elizabeth seeks chemically induced relief through the aid of a doctor. She is given a sedative by the physician and is later seen in a numbed state. Marriage to George is taking its toll. Elsewhere, Drake, Harry Richardson, continues to make headway in his seduction of Elizabeth's cousin Morena, Elias Chapel. 
Jeffrey Charles, Harry Marcos, champions the pairing, even though he knows it will create drama. The quick recap. Despite his best efforts, Ross does not find Dwight in France. He eventually returns home to Cornwall with a list of prisoner names, which reveals Dwight is among them. He shares this news with Caroline. Ross appears to contemplate a return to France to rescue Dwight. Demosa tries to help her brothers find a new place to worship. When she suggests a piece of land Francis had once gifted the people, they go to Elizabeth to get the all clear. Elizabeth agrees to honor Francis' arrangement. That is until George tells her the man asking after the land with Zaki is Demos's brother. Convinced by George that it is a scheme by Ross, Elizabeth agrees to pack up baby Valentine and leave Trenwith so they can escape Ross' influence via their town home in the city. Life as newlyweds hits a major speed bump when Elizabeth witnesses George hand down a brutal and corrupt ruling. She begins taking physician-approved tranquilizers. Demosa opens up an old storehouse at Nampera for Drake and Sam to lead worship services in. When a not-so-happy Ross learns of this, she makes it clear that she is in charge of decisions at Nampera in his absence and he agrees. The two then share a romantic moment. Top takeaway from episode 2. Instead of trying to romance Morena, why isn't Drake helping his heavily pregnant sister with chores at Nampera? Ever since taking up residence at his sister and brother-in-law Esabaud, Drake has been spending most of his time trying to romance Elizabeth's forbidden cousin. His immaturity at not realizing his sister needs him more speaks to whether he is actually good husband material for Morena. Find out if Drake continues his pursuit of Morena and how Ross and Demos or whether another week of drama when pulled up continues. Per PBS official press site, episode 3 of season 3 will air October 15th at 9 p.m. Is on PBS.